This week, the third week of September, is known as Asthma Peak Week. That's because it's a week where doctors see, often see, the most asthma attacks in the country. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here with more on what you need to know to stay healthy. Well, guys, this time of year can be difficult for those with asthma, but doctors say there are things you can do to mitigate triggers. September is the month where doctors see more people with asthma episodes and attacks around the nation. And the third week of the month is known as Asthma Peak Week. Kenneth Mendez is president and CEO of the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. It really has to do with kids going back to school. Their colds and respiratory infections, and those can be triggers for asthma. Add to that the fall allergy season. You also have leaf mold and then wildfires, hurricanes to create mold, and all those things combine to be irritants for your asthma. In fact, 25% of hospitalizations for kids with asthma generally happen around this time. Make sure that you have healthy indoor air, so clean air. So use a certified asthma and allergy friendly uh, air cleaner inside because you spend 90% of your time indoors. Mendez also says it is critical to have an asthma action plan. It basically has on there what you should do to monitor how you're feeling and how you're breathing, what areas you're falling into, and what you need to do if that happens. So having rescue medication nearby, which is generally known as albuterol, and then knowing when to go to the emergency room. And he says make sure you get a flu shot this fall to try and stay healthy. And the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America just released the list of the most challenging cities to live in with asthma. Out of 100 cities, Durham comes in at number 92 and Raleigh 99, meaning they rank better than average, guys. Yeah, that is good to hear that at least we're on that ranking. All right.